Um, Doug had a, a, um, a new contest proposal, and I, apparently it was a take uh, a modification of a NASA sample return robot challenge. Yeah. And I was, I'm interested in it because it's kind of like the donkey car. Uh, you know, it's CNNs, you know, deep learning, machine learning, or machine learning, you know, kind of all those things in that are, that are similar, um, you know, to the donkey car, but with kind of a little bit of a twist. So oh, what's the, what is it? So okay, it is, uh, can you open the file and uh, yeah. in oh, there okay. and we'll take a, yeah. all right, okay. The tabletop is kind of sample return. This is actually picking up objects and yeah. identifying them. Yeah. Identifying. So identifying. the idea of this one, okay, it looks like this year the one of the things the officers seem to be pushing is the idea of deep learning and computer computer vision. All right, those are the kind of like the advanced subjects that they would like for people to stretch with. That doesn't mean we're going to forget all the beginners and wipe them out, but we're saying that for the people who want to stretch or see something new, those are the two things we want to push. So anyway, let me, this is the competition. Uh, if you look very carefully, I know this is, this is a rule set, okay? So let me kind of, if you have deep questions, I'll tell you what it is. So, See this room here? Well, you know how it looks on Robo Rama. There'll be there'll be a big uh, arena over, over here. here. Yep. There'll be some chairs over there. There'll be another arena over there. There'll be some things marked on the floor. There'll be people walking around. Okay. So for this, we'll ask people to kind of like go to the side of the room. But in that floor, there's five objects put on the floor. And there is, say over where Jeff is, bring your hand Jeff so they know you. Alright, where Jeff is, there is a, I was going to make it a circle, but I made it a box because with tape it's easier to make a box. So there's an 18 by 18 inch box where he's standing. And in the middle of it is a 9 inch cone that's fluorescent orange. And we all know how to well, we all know how pretty much to use blob detection to find a fluorescent cone. So that's home base. Now, in the rest of the room, there's five objects. So you're, you're given five minutes. You start in the, in the home base. You drive, doing whatever search pattern you want. Maybe you get lucky. Maybe the judge is kind and he puts one right there in front of you. And you drive straight to it, pick it up, recognize it. And put it back. All right. We're now back at home. At home. At home. Right. So you're essentially finding samples. That's the objects, and you're returning them to home base. Yeah. All right. Now, but now maybe he puts the second one in here inside of the arena, so you can't see it. You got to kind of do some sort of search routine to find that guy. Okay. Now. Uh, so. Now there's other or possibility. You now we're not when we start this off. And when we start this off, if it's like all our other contests, we won't do be very successful. I'm thinking a five five point. We kind of never really got off the ground, and this is even harder. Than five yeah, points. yeah, yeah. But it's so, well, listen to it. Well, that's what I'm trying to say. It. So it really depends on the judge. Now the first time we run this, maybe the objects are like dink, 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 and dink, and there's only five objects out on the floor if you can't find them. If you can't recognize them as an object, then you're screwed. Right. But there's no competition. Okay, the next year we get better. You put some in over here and you hide some stuff and you put decoys. And I'll show I'll talk about decoys in a minute. Alright? <laughs> Things uh, that look similar but are not the object taken. We'll see if he surprises. I, I want to see hot dogs in here somewhere. Hot dogs, okay. Hot dogs, not hot dogs. <laughs> okay. Here's your object. How about a beer bottle? A beer bottle? Here's your object. So they're a block, 
a baseball, a Buzz Light, Light Hall, Lightyear, Lightyear doll. This one is a this is a non-drying drank soda, but in the, the rules it says a drank soda. So it just, won't be heavy. So it won't be heavy, okay? And then the fourth, fifth one is a, a wheel. Now these are just ones that I happen to have around that I thought would make a good contest. Okay? We can change we can change change them around. <laughs> but you know, like I said, there could be a decoy. For example, you could put a soccer ball on the floor. Now, soccer ball is a lot bigger. It's a usually a different color. Doesn't have this. I mean, it really well, should be different enough that your machine learning should do it. Soft ball versus a hard ball size. Yeah. Soccer yeah. ball should be. You know, yeah. Different. So, but, but what I'm saying is, if your algorithm isn't robust enough, if it just says, "Ah, you got something round," you may waste time because these are time things. You only have five minutes. You may go retrieve. The soccer ball, or try to receive the soccer ball, it probably roll off on you. But, and you might waste a whole lot of time chasing the soccer ball instead of getting over. Now, will we do that the first year? No, it's probably not. But I'm saying is these, this rule set allows you to grow as you become more proficient. Okay? So, this would be the rules. And so the scoring is really simple. There's no penalty points. If you, bring, if you did manage to bring the soccer ball back to the home base, no penalty point. You just don't get a point. So you perfect score is five. You got all five of them back, okay, in five minutes. Uh, let's see. It, and the rules for prizes and stuff. All right couple of things here. If n nobody gets anything, nobody manages to bring an object back, there's no prize that's given out. Otherwise, you, to get a prize or a place, you got to have at least one object. So, no, so no nobody's breaking. saying, well, we got two, two, two competitors, I want to be third, I'm dropping in here just because <laughs> I want to get the prize. None of that happens. You got to get, you got to get. Now, so if somebody, if you have two people get perfect scores, then it's the shortest time. If nobody gets a perfect score, which is what I would expect on the first, first run of the thing, then let's say there was two people that got two objects, and they were the best. Then the two object people would put their robots in the home base together. The judge would adjust the the objects to something simple and then they'll run and whoever retrieves an object first so is the winner. Okay. So the sudden death essential. Okay. All right. So it's, not, it's not a time on that. Uh, it is timed. If nobody gets it in five minutes, then what happens is they're considered both equal. They've already gotten at least one can. Okay. So they're both equal. They go get their prizes last in the distribution of second place. Otherwise, all the first prize place winners would go. All of the second place winners, they would be the last second place Sorry. winner to get their prize. All right. And then if there's a third place, he'd just be in normal third place. Okay. But anyway, that's the rule set. It's two pages long. Very simple. Uh, let's see if there's anything in here that might be any questions. Okay. So you're proposing this for fall? For fall. Yeah. Not for, not for Rubber Rock. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, if you guys surprise me, and you know, it's like I say, anytime somebody feels ready, they can run this run competition. But I'm figuring that with all the other stuff going on, it'll be, it'll be November. All right, so just a few things, uh, just gameplay, all right? You can put your, your robot in any position in the home base to start off. Uh, the, timer, the timer starts when your robot moves. So if your robot doesn't move, you, if you read the rules, you're allowed to take your robot out. 
see if you can figure out what the heck happened. Put it back in at the end of the run and go again. And that'll can't, otherwise you, you're allowed <laughs> one, one gimme, basically. All right? Uh, if the robot disturbs the cone, because the thought is, at least on the first level of solving this issue, you probably, you remember, you have to have no odometry, you have to have no navigation for this. You just have to be able to target. Now, if you have to do a search pattern, then you got to know where you are. But if you're not doing a search pattern, so you, you, you so the idea would be you, you locate an object, you drive to it, you turn around looking for that orange cone. When you find the orange cone, you use blob lip recognition and drive back to the actual point. When you now, said there's no odometry, you're not going to make people disconnect. No, 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 you can no, do anything you, you want. You can do anything you want. anything you want. I'm just saying is, I'm just saying for the solving of this problem, you, you don't, don't need it. You don't you know, have to have it. Unless somebody hides the cone, which we probably won't do on the first first year. I'm just, I'm just thinking of the late, uh, the five point. One guy won just because he could find, he just, you know, Dave. Yes, he could just. Make his robot go around the four four corners of the room. There's four of the five points. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's, yeah that's, four out of five. Yeah. So that's you need alternate technology now. Yeah. Yeah. That's the advantage to do. They could do anything. Yeah, but, but I mean, yeah, but that's right. And, and obviously, having those, having slam or having dislocation, both of those things are going to be to your advantage. But I'm saying, as a minimal bar. All you need to be able to do is recognize the object and be able to drive back to an orange cone. Any technology. Now the rule says that if you hit the orange cone and you kick it a couple of times, you know we don't pick it up until your run is ended. So if you knock it out of the home zone because you're driving at 60 miles an hour and you drive up to it and knock it off, you know then you gotta find the 30 inch. Then circle. you're going to be harder to find that 30 inch circle. All right, uh, if the object is, any part of it is in the, in the home base, any part of it, you're good. And then uh, beacons for outside navigational are not, re are not allowed. There is one other rule that probably ought to be pu pulled up. No, your robot. Your robot is not autonomous. Otherwise, you can't communicate with it. Uh, but it's not required to be self-contained, which means that you can have outside computing power. So if you want to have your Cray over here, you know, that's cool with me. But, but all sensors have to be on the robot. So now I know this, this gets the sounding thing out. <laughs> Sorry about that, John. I just, I wasn't even thinking about you, but, you know, that's the way it is. <laughs> I, uh, so, uh, so that's the rule. That's the proposed rule set for a, a new contest in November. Uh, and that gives us plenty of time to go ahead and try for it. Um, if you're doing Donkey Kong Kart, if you're doing Donkey Kart, you'll have most of this stuff already. Uh, should be pretty easy for you to do it, uh, but if you don't, you know, if, if Donkey Kart itself doesn't really interest you, but you would like to try to explore the computer vision and the AI, then this contest would be an alternative for you.